Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and we have another really interesting Humble Bundle available today. It's exceedingly interesting. I had a lot of fun with it so far, but I don't actually know if it's practical, at least for me. But this one is all about natural and digital painting. Yep, so what we're looking at today is the Humble Software Bundle Natural and Digital Painting Kit. It is a collection of four applications all about digital art. Some of them are recreating real world materials, some have a completely different approach to how art is made. Um, and this one is typical of all Humble Bundles. If you don't know how this works, basically it's a collection of stuff, in this case software and add-ons, around the idea of digital art and painting. Um, you can decide how your money is allocated. You can have some of it go to Humble, have some of it go to Charity, to the publisher, and if you so choose, and thanks if you do, to go and support Game From Scratch. Now this bundle is a little bit different than many of the past ones because the tiers aren't really that massive. You've got the $1 tier here, the way it works, you buy a tier, you get all the lower dollar value tiers as well. This one is, I think, $1 US. It's a buck fifty Canadian because we're kind of getting screwed on the exchange rate on that one. And it is in spirit. Now in spirit, it's as far as I can tell, a toy. This here is in spirit. It is a tool for creating digital kaleidoscopes. It's kind of like, I don't know, was it magic doodle? I'm trying to remember what they were called. They were these, uh, remember when you put your pen in the spiral things and you spun it around and you created effects? Well, that's essentially what this is. It's a very uh, digital version of that. It's also killing my computer as I'm running it in the background. So I'm going to shut that one down. But that is the one toy tier thing here. It's also the cheapest thing that you can buy. We'll see the pricing in just a minute. But that is in spirit $1 tier. So most people are going to buy at this tier. And hell, if you're at this tier, you're going to spend the extra $3 and get this tier. So this is a bundle that basically has one tier. Uh, $26 Canadian is probably $20 US. Um, but if for some reason you don't want to spend that extra three bucks and get double the software, the $20 tier or the $18 tier, I don't know what that turns into US, sorry. Uh, but that tier gives you Flame Painter 4 uh, and a bunch of particle brushes for Flame Painter 4 and then an application called Amber Light 2. Now, again, I'm not even going to pretend that I have the slightest idea how to use any of this stuff. I just basically downloaded it as the bundle was released, but it gives you an idea of what each one is. At least gives you access to the user interface, and they've all got a very consistent look, and I gotta say, they're polished. By the way, these are available for uh, Windows and Mac, all of the products, um, but if you might be able to run it on Linux under Wine, I don't know. If you do get it to work under Wine, let me know in the comments down below. It'll benefit other people. Now, you notice my cursor sitting here. That is because this guy basically runs on particle effect brushes. So you're basically drawing with particle systems. And I'm just going to go ahead and we'll paint a little bit. There you go, magic sparkles going in. And I could definitely see how you could slot this into your workflow if you needed to have like that, if you need to do a particle effect to an existing image or something to that effect. That is kind of the idea here. You're working with a number of different particle brushes and you're painting and you're painting and you're painting and you're painting. And then we've got special effects and filters and so on. So we could colorize, we could add a glow, we could add a blur. So let's add a glow in here and there you see we could narrow it down, get rid of some of it. So that is kind of the program. You've got layering support and so on. Once again, I don't pretend for a second to have a clue how to use this guy, but at least I would show it to you. So it's a particle effect painting program. So you create digital art using particle system brushes. If you're wondering, will this support my tablet? Yes, it will. It supports WinTab and Wacom format tablets. You're, you have to pick which one when you buy it. Uh, next up, the other one we had going on was Amberlight. Now, Amberlight is just as unique. This program is, uh, it's about, you're, you're controlling and painting with particle systems. Here you see millions and millions of particles, and then you just kind of mess with them. You, you can uh, do effectors on it. You can, you can add more fields. Let's add two more fields into the mix. Uh, you can change up the color of the fields. You can say the way that particles work with each other. So by manipulating particle systems, you're creating digital art. And then you notice there's also a timeline here. It will evolve over time. It's a really unique approach to art. Again, I don't have the bloodiest clue what I'm doing with this, uh, but I've also really intrigued. I've created some really interesting things in just my few seconds of playing around with this thing in the past. But again, I have no clue how I would use this or if I would use this, but I gotta admit, I, I am liking what I see. And again, it's using a, a consistent user interface. Once again, so you got layer supports. Um, you don't have nearly as many filters as you did before, uh, but 
you have uh, the ability to render out your result as an animation or as a single still frame image. Uh, so that one there is the Amber Light 2 package. So then the last one we've got going on is when you jump up to this. So again, back to the packages, you get Flame Painter Pro, for an Amber Light 2 in that, and then you're getting a bunch of additions or add-ons that are included with Flame Painter 4. So you're getting new brushes, various different particle system effects that you can now additionally paint with Flame Painter 4. Now also, if you're wondering, these guys will plug into your art system. So if you have, you know, if, you, if you're if you bringing in a PSD or a PNG file or something, you could obviously bring it in, work on something, and then export it out after the fact. So these don't have to be used individually. They might be part of another system. And then finally, we've got Rebel 3. This was straight up natural media paint this is quite similar to uh, a couple programs I featured recently, and then there was a Humble Bundle for uh, Corel Painter a while back. Uh, there's programs like Art Rage and Procreate and so on. Rebel 3 is along those lines. Let's take a quick look at it before, oops, that's the wrong one. Here we go. As you can see, I was just kind of screwing around. This one is replicating real world papers, like you can see in the background there, and media brushes. There's a handful of programs like this, but you can see the interaction between the paint layers that I've put down. Um, so that is Rebel 3. And once again, you've got a number of different filters to work with. You've got layering support. You've got your traditional blend mode there. You can create multiple layers. Um, again, I have zero experience with this, but if you're trying to create like a watercolor look, and boom, you can come in. And there's some neat special effects that you can do with this that I'm not gonna showcase here, but we'll look at it in a second when we see the site. So anyways, that is the bundle. Those are the pieces of software you get there. You also get a number of different things such as more papers that you can install into Rebel. Uh, you also get Flame Painter Connect. So if you use uh, Photoshop, you can actually plug Flame Painter's particle system brushes directly into Photoshop and have them work there, which is definitely a cool feature. So I would normally show you, so I showed you all the software in action. What I would normally show you is what you get inside of Humble, but it exposes so many product keys and so on else that I'm just not showcasing that today. But you get direct downloads and you get redemption keys for all of the various different things. The way it works, you redeem your keys on their website, you create a username, password, and that's it. No personal information or anything else. And then that is how you authenticate. They sent you back a link with all of the details you need to activate everything else. So the different software we're getting here, the one here, again, Rebel 3, digital media painting, tries to replicate things like real world watercolors, watercolor, acrylic, pastels, airbrush, marker, ink pen, pencils. And then we've got cool things here like the drop engine that's simulating the water effects, blow tool for blowing things around if you got like that paint look. It's definitely an interesting and neat program for sure. And this is probably the most traditional painting program. You've got things in here like a perspective tracing brush. So if you're trying to do, uh, you know, 3D drawings, you want to have that nice perspective look, you've got that built in there. Next up, we have Flame Painter. Flame Painter, again, was the particle system based brush for painting this kind of stuff. Uh, award winning painting software where you can paint with lifelike particle system brushes, ground painting particles to open up a whole new world of possibilities. Uh, nowhere to be found in other software, broad range of organic tools, you are the creator. So a whole bunch of different special effects. And once again, remember these particle systems and these brushes can be embedded in Photoshop. Plus you get a number of other brushes and they got a ton of free brushes online that you can also download and work with. Uh, so that's a cool one for sure. Amber Light is a unique art tool that creates beautiful computer generated images and animations, millions of particle systems that are flying through canvas and then you use special fields to drive them around. I don't know in the end what you would really use this one for. The other two, I can definitely see uses for Flame Painter um, and Rebel. They're pretty straightforward in what they do. They're unique, but they're straightforward in their uses. Amber Light 2, I, honestly, I, I don't know what you would use this for. Maybe special effects. Um, some, yeah, that, that's kind of about all I can think of. But it, it also is probably the one that I'm, again, most excited to try and play around with after I finish this video. And then finally, remember the one from the $1 tier we've got in spirit uh, is a relaxing painting app for, for the creative soul that lets you create mesmerizing mandalas and kaleidoscope artworks and watch them slowly evolve in time. It's a toy. 100%, it's just straight out of toy. I don't see any actual use for this whatsoever, uh, but everything else, yeah, I can definitely see some uses and now you're kind of wondering, okay, what about cost? So you're looking at uh, $22, I think US for the whole package, at least $26 Canadian, so maybe 20 bucks US. As you can see, the entire package available from them is uh, 200 bucks. So you're literally getting it for 10% of the total cost. So that's Rebel 3, which is a $90 program, Flame Painter Pro, which is a $90 program, uh, with the particle system brushes and such that you're getting, it's a $140 program. Amber Light 2 is a $9 program. And In Spirit is a $30 toy. So, yeah, 
that is it. A very, very interesting uh, package for sure. Uh, all from Escape Motions. Uh, I, I love to hear from you guys. If you see a use here, perhaps something that I am not foreseeing, uh, or again, what would you try and use these things for if, if you do buy the pack? Let me know in comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.